Saturday morning at Croatia Rally is done and done without any rain, much to the surprise of everybody. The lingering concern over conditions meant all the drivers went out with wet tyres in the car, if not on the car. But when the clouds above failed to deliver, the drivers were left managing the combination of hard and soft dry tyres beneath them. Across the 33 miles and four stages west of Zagreb, it was Thierry Neville who did the best job. He and Elvin Evans started the day tied at the top of the leaderboard, but the Belgian powered his high and into a 4.7 second lead from the Welshman's Toyota. Neville can be particularly chuffed with his morning, having started one place behind Evans in a marginally worse place on the road than his rival. Evans failed to beat Neville on any of the four stages, but he still had the leader very much in his sights as the cars arrived back into the Croatian capital on Saturday lunchtime. The top two go into the afternoon with the added incentive of provisional points being available at the end of the day. Don't forget, P1 tonight means 18 points in the bank, providing you get to the end tomorrow. One man less concerned about those points is Sebastian Augier. The eight-time champion remains very much in the fight in third place, having endured a sizable sideways moment through the morning. Frenchman Augier is one of the acknowledged masters of mixed conditions. You don't win the Monte Carlo rally nine times without knowing how to handle yourself when the going gets slippery. Hyundai's Oitanek escaped a moment of his own, the Estonian sliding wide on the left hander and damaging the front right of his I-20. Fears of a puncture were groundless and he continued to the end of the stage. M Sports' Adrian Formo started the day better than anybody else with fastest time through the weekend opener. The Frenchman is keeping Tanak honest and in sight despite a concern over a slight misfire in the final stage of the loop. Takamoto Katsuta rounds out the top six positions in his Toyota with Andreas Mikkelsen's third factory I-20 and Gregoire Munster's Puma following in seventh and eighth respectively. Nikolai Gryzan continues to lead WRC2, building a minute advantage over Citroen teammate Johan Russell. The star of the Rally 2 cars through Saturday morning was, however, Gus Greensmith. Punctures forced the Briton to run a pair of wets on the rear of his Skoda, making for some sideways and enormously stylish progress through the asphalt stages. Stay tuned to Dervish.com for all the updates from Croatia Rally. Look out for our evening review and, of course, if that rain comes, we'll tell you all about it.